Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a Halloween tutorial showing you how to get this snake-inspired look. So if you want to see how to do it, let's get started. Starting barefaced, I'm going in with L'Oreal's True Match Lumi Foundation, and I'm going a few shades darker, maybe one shade darker than my natural skin tone, just to warm everything up. And because it's darker, I'm blending that all the way down my neck and chest. Then going in with a color corrector, this one is from Physicians Formula, I'm using that to eliminate any under eye discoloration that I have. Then on the other end of that stick, there is a concealer that I'm going to apply on my under eye area over top, and again, pat that in. Using Rimmel's Stay Matte Setting Powder, I'm applying that to my under eye area to set the concealer so my eye makeup doesn't run, but I'm also applying it to my T-zone because whether you are trick-or-treating or going to a party, you're going to want this look to last all night. This look is kind of busy with everything that's going to be going on on the face, and so to make sure my brows don't get lost in it, I'm filling them in just very slightly with this YBF Universal Brow Pencil. Now using L'Oreal's True Match Powder Foundation in quite a few shades darker than my natural skin tone, I'm using that to contour right under my cheekbones, along the temples, and right underneath my chin. And this is just going to act as some definition because even though there is a lot going on in the face with all the scales, you still don't want to lose some of the depth that is in the cheekbones that isn't covered by all the scales. This is Milani's eye primer that I'm using to, you know, prime my eyes and then I'm going in with the Lorac Pro palette in this medium camel shade and I'm applying that with a tapered brush into my crease using windshield wiper motions just to add some subtle definition. Shadows are pretty easy in this look. The last one I'm using is a matte white on my inner corner because the liner that I'm going to apply closes my eyes off somewhat and this serves to keep them a little bit more open. Speaking of liner, this is the Wet n Wild collection, or from the Fergie collection, just a normal black liner to create a standard wing, nothing dramatic, but I am emphasizing the inner corner as you can see, as well as lining my waterline. For the rest of the face, I'm using Makeup Forever's Flash Palette, and from that I'm using the brown shade, the gold shade, and the yellow shade, mixing those together on the back of my hand. And you don't have to have this in order to get this look. You can use any face paint that you can find at CVS, Walgreens, pretty much every place is carrying them this time of year. But this is what I had, so I didn't need to buy them. I'm also using this net that I got from Michael's. I think little toy cars came in them. I couldn't find just plain net anywhere, so I purchased little cars that came to like to go in goodie bags and took the cars out. I'm using the netting for this. I'm using a sponge and taking that mixture on the back of my hand and just stippling it over that net to create what will eventually be the first of two textures that we use to create the snake look. You can see that I'm applying that to my forehead, the tops of my cheekbones just above where I place that contour, and I'm also applying it to my chin just to balance the top half and bottom half of my face out. In hindsight, I probably would take this pattern all the way down my neck just to give me that full-on snake look, but you can choose to do that or not. Totally up to you. I think it looks fine either way. Then using a smaller weave, you can see a comparison of the two here, I am going to use a regular black paint from my flash palette, but you can use regular face paint, and I'm going to stipple that over the pattern that I've already applied. Now you don't want to overwhelm the brown, so you can see I'm just putting it in sort of select areas so that it doesn't completely overcome the brown, but it creates that interesting speckled black brown pattern that you see on a lot of snakes. You can see I'm doing that both on both cheeks and the chin. If you find you're getting these sort of artificial linear patterns like I am, go in with the clean part of your sponge and use that to buff it out. And the last makeup item for this look is lipstick. This is Wet n Wild's Hot Red and it's 99 cents so you really can't beat that. And once that's done, I just applied a set of lashes from NYX with some gold glitter which are totally optional and these contacts from Camo Eyes. They're the yellow cat eyes. Again, optional but I feel like they really make the look. And that's everything you need to create this snake-inspired look. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Bye.